Yes. Ethel, you can talk to this lady. I can. And I'm going to take these two ladies. Okay. Okay. Are you going to be okay standing by yourself? Thank you for asking that. And you can help me get over closer a little bit to her, I think. Okay. Would you like a chair, Ethel? Oh, I'd love a chair. Yep, love a chair. And these girls are going to help me into that chair as well, too, because yeah. I'm kind of crooked on my feet sometimes okay. when I'm turning turn, around. Turn, turn, turn. And you're going to back up till you feel the chair behind your knees. Oh. Okay. Okay, so you just completed the uh, virtual dementia experience. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think it'll help you uh, when you're working with seniors again? Go ahead. Right off the top, um, I'm going to be more patient with my seniors because it was just so confusing in there. Uh, the noise, I'm going to try and limit some of the noise um, in the environment if I can. I mean, that's not always possible, but um, and one task at a time is probably the key yeah. <laughs> one one task I think the most important thing will be adjusting your care for one task at a time not overwhelming them with too many things to think about just completing one task at a time is the most important and maybe going slower yeah because I know I whip through care because we have a lot of people look after and the sad reality is is we do have a lot of people in a short amount of time so maybe we'll have to slow down with a few people yeah could you just both describe some of the things that uh, how you were, uh, I forget what you called it. To... Garbed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just describe uh, what was what you were wearing because it is a little hard to see and and mm -hmm. so what that experience was like. Well they put headphones on our ears because of the sensory deficit with the hearing loss. Um, we had goggles to inhibit our eyesight. We had gloves that had popcorn in the tips of them and they were some fingers were taped um, to inhibit our, our dexterity. And we had the like, insoles put in our shoes, which were very prickly. And our, which knees, made were us, tied and our knees were tied together, yeah. so it made us. Um, Did it surprise you that that's the experience for some people? A hundred percent. Yeah. Like I, I mean, I work with seniors a lot, so I understand that they are limited. Um, but to feel how they're limited, I think brings a whole new level of understanding. Um, it's not just memory loss. Yeah. It's a whole sensory yeah. deficit. And it's not just us assuming we know what they're going through. We, we, we can now sympathize a little better, or yeah. empathize, I guess. That's the I think better the word. families of people with dementia would benefit from this. Oh, most definitely. Yes. Because they need to be more patient, because they're going to be the ones dealing with them every day when yeah. they're living at home, yeah. or by themselves and going in and caring for them, yeah. for sure. It might help limit caregiver burnout, mm -hmm. elder abuse, because if, if you can totally understand or even, I guess we can't totally, this is only an experience and everybody's experience is personal, but if you can have an understanding of what they may be going through, I think that can make a lot of people more patient For sure. and prevent the elder abuse that we see happening.